All right. That was an intense moment with the Ike with Aegis. <laughs> Aegis. All right. Mitsuru. Oh shit! Not Mitsuru. Aegis isn't here. Fuck. All right. Real talk. Okay. So today's a Monday. Rank six. She's not here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh shit! That has to be it. Twenty ninth is the day. I need to max out her. Shit. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Oh no! Did I fuck up? She's not here. Oh wait. Okay. All right. So with that said and done, Kaz. Wait a second. Gourmet King's at rank eight. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to the Gourmet King. Go fuse an Aeon Persona. Why? Do I need it? Do I need to? <clears throat> Better safe than sorry. I don't think you could actually, like, fail Aegis. Like, the only way you can fail Aegis social link is that, um... The only way you can fail Aegis' social link is that you just don't do her at all. That's literally it. I saved. I'm fine. Oh no, it's the end of the world and I'm hanging with this fat fuck. I love it. Hi, how is your day? Hey Fuka. If we don't win here, don't think like that, baby. I guess we'll win. We have no other choice. You're right, I guess. We have to win. We're gonna take on the moon or pierce the heavens. All right. We're Demi Fiend 2. Po or like 3.0. Not as strong, but he still gets the Universal Arcana. Jen, what is this picture? Is that nine and like. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea who the hell that other chick is. Lunch time! Demi Fiend with blue hair. <laughs> yeah, let's go out, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta put my DNA in you. Not in the lewd faction. For you guys who just jump to conclusions, y'all fucks. Nine is some other girl I don't know about. Hmm. Oh yeah, here comes the sad part too. Ah. You're Kiyoshi-san's grandmother, correct? Greetings. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello! <laughs> you have great timing. I was just thinking about you two again. Or seeing you two again. Why? If you want the truth, Muli has disappeared again. Again? Well, don't worry. At least this time we have an idea where she might have gone. No, that's alright. I believe that this time Muli went in search of something. In search of something? Yes, for a place to die. 
When cats perceive that their life is nearly over, they leave on their own to wait for the end. Ah, oh, Muley! Muley even came to say goodbye to me before she left. And so, I don't think I'll need, to f need you to find her anymore. That's sad as shit, is that true? That's not true, is it? Seriously, that's not true, is it? That seems way too dark. Even for cats. And they're assholes of the world. Muli san died? Well, toodaloo! I love how she asks the question and she just books it. <laughs> You're, um. You're not alone. I'm certain of it. Well, of course I'm not alone. As long as there are people left in the world, no one can truly be alone. I'm fine as long as there are people like you around. <laughs> Miss. Bless you, dear girl, for your kindness to an old lady. To a to a loo. Time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Kyoshi-san said that people live to be happy. Was Muli-san happy? I'm sure she was happy. Was Muli-san grateful to have been born? I'm sure she was. For what purpose was Muli-san born? No one can say. Life. Where does it originate? Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? To live is to be connected to people, but life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life is cruel. Oh, you have no idea. I wonder, would the day come when I must part with you forever too? Okay, I'm not- I'm low-key. Like, that's kind of sad. That line alone is sad. It, will there come a time where I must part with you forever, too? That is sad as shit. It sucks because she's literally depressed about it, man. She doesn't want it to happen. Oh, God. I do want to live, but that's not all. That is to say, I don't want to merely become close to a human. I want to... With you! What? What? What is this feeling? What do I want to do? Just hold her hand, Makoto, for God's sakes, man. Oh, this is Persona 3 we're playing. Yeah, it just sucks because, again, I haven't played this in years in technicality and it's just like doing I guess the social link again is just like so strong because uh, because of Ultimax and Arena especially where she is I'm sorry for getting upset so suddenly I'll be heading back I guess why are you running Five days until the promise day, yada yada yada. Alright. Better save, actually. <laughs> Have sex, I guess. That's what you want. Jin, how dare you? How dare you? You cannot just assume, I guess, just wants to just have the sexy times. You cannot assume. You cannot. Even though it may be true, but still. Your cat died beside me? Uh, that sucks. Dude, it sucks when that happens. My freaking, my other dog before Bentley. Um, so one day, like I see him like mad skinny. And like I started, I, mean, I, I was confused and I was feeding him a lot, right? I was feeding him, making sure, but he never touched his food. And what happened was... 
And what happened was, um, I go out, you know, take out the trash. I put the dog on my bed. Like, he was, like, skinny to the bones. Like, you see his ribs and shit. And I was confused because I fed him so much. Like, so many times in the past, especially. And just this happened out of nowhere, right? So, I put him on my bed. And then I want to go take out the trash. I come back. The dude died on my fucking bed. Like, the last moment of him remembering me was him, was me literally putting him by my side. And then leaving his ass. Worst shit ever, dude. I hated it, man. Oh no! My relationship didn't increase. <gasps> Guys! That's the <gasps> No! 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 Oh shit! Three? Thank God I saved in a different spot. One, two, three. These have to be the days. It could be. It could have been an internal health problem. Yeah, yeah. It it, it definitely was, but I don't know what caused it, and that's what sucked. It's literally impossible to max out, I guess, without drawing fortunes. Are you sure? Because I maxed it out before, hardcore. I saved in a different spot. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We can make this happen. No! I guess you better be fucking here, dude. Aegis! Alright, after this, <laughs> I'm gonna go make an A on Persona. Let's see if it works. Fortunes make it easier. Ah, there we go. We gotta, we gotta make a Persona. Oh no! <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Something else. Trumpeter? The fuck? Hey, Vishnu! <gasps> oh, oh! He saved me from freaking, uh, from Nocturne. He saved me from Lucifer, so I kind of want to make him. Why is it only Anata? I don't need you. I don't want you, if anything. God dang it. I thought I had another one. Michael! <gasps> oh shit! The angels of destruction and death! Oh, it's so tempting. God dang it, I just, I'm gonna make her, screw it. Loki? I don't need Loki anymore, at least. So I need Mara? Okay, Mara's the only sacrifice I need. Alright. <laughs> Rip Harlot, yep.
Mara, there you are. <laughs> you thought you, I, you, I thought you forgot about me. <laughs> All right. We got to do this, dude. We got to max her out. We got three days, dude. It'll be a miracle if I max her freaking ass out. The way that they treated Mara, especially Baphomet, because Baphomet was a one. But the way, what Mar the things that happened to Mara sucked. Like, I summoned the Mara. Oh my god. I'm not maxing her out, dude. I think I am. I'm sorry about the last time. Perhaps my heart is becoming more and more like that of a human. But as a result, I have realized something. The heart and body are inseparable. A human heart can only function normally within a human body. That's not true, I guess. Um, have you ever come here alone with a female on an occasion, on any occasion before? Perhaps you gazed out at the view and spoke quietly. Oh, I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. So if I say Mitsuru, I'm doing it now. Um, I'm only shaped like a female, and besides, I'm a machine. You think I care? Do you think I care? Actually, I was becoming a little worried. At school, I am seen as a human female. I was concerned that if I stayed with Makoto-san too much, it could cause a misunderstanding. If that is the case, please tell me right away. I wouldn't want to act as a barrier to you becoming close to female humans. You know, it'd be, you know it's crazy? If Makoto lived through all this, and he had a child, I guess would be like the best babysitter. The view from this rooftop is wonderful. That must be why I come up here after school. Sometimes I find a couple find a couple alone here. They must be leaning against one another, or they might or or embracing. I never gave it a second thought before, but lately it pains me to see them. I have probably come to realize that this is sort of a connection I have I can never attain. The closer my heart becomes to that of a human, the more I realize how much set us apart. Just because my heart is developing doesn't mean I can actually become human. I have known this from the beginning, of course. But I only rec recently have I realized something. I have another wish. One, just as I... As precious as my desire to live. My realization is that this second wish can never be granted. I'm sorry. I lost control of myself again. But this feeling that you are precious to me will never change. No matter what happens. Social link, go! Alright, we got this. I, I, I have to be able to max her out. There's no way. If I can't, then I'm restarting. I have always referred to you as someone of something precious to me. But that is not the correct way to express this feeling. However, if I were to use the proper words, I, I know it would never come true. And I... Ah! <laughs> I guess just run screaming. I guess, please. Sup, dude? Sup, man? Three more days. Yeah, I got three more days to max out my Aegis. Remember this joke that Atlas made? <laughs> That's fucked up. It's true too, dude. Aegis! Oh, we could do this! 
Persona 5 will be coming to North America on PlayStation 3 in 2015. Ha! Yeah, and apparently after all these years, they still don't have enough trailers to show people that Persona 5 is actually still a thing. Clearly! Aegis! Isn't it interesting how the sun, how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten used to this view, but it's never exactly the same. The same could be said of one's daily routine, or of life itself. I guess it's getting deep, dude. The faded day is almost here. January 31st. Right. I had a notice. <laughs> I wish I could be that calm. Since last time, I have calmed myself by thinking things through. I thought about the old lady and Muli-san, as well as Kyoshi-san. I wonder if Muli-san was alone until the moment of her death. Someone place no one could find her. Some place, man. That sucks, dude. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people. But life is finite, and farewells are inevitable. It's sad to consider, but you and I must part one day as well. Lies, I guess. And then, I'll never be able to see you again. Dude, this is getting me sad, man. Just knowing, like, the ending and how, like, Persona Arena happens and shit. This is getting me so sad, dude. There's no... There's so much in life that cannot be understood. It's filled with pain. You meet others, forge relationships, and spend time with them. Then they are gone, leaving you behind. Leaving you alone? When I consider that, I can no longer hold back my feelings. But I understand now. That's just how it is. No two viewings are alike. No two days are alike. It is natural for everything to disappear, return, and remain in the constant state of change. Life is finite and ephemeral. That is precisely what makes it precious to use, showing us that we shouldn't waste it. It is a miracle for any two like-minded people to meet within the chaotic flux. That's why forging bonds and relationships is a source of happiness. That is the root of- The root of all evil! The root of evil, fucking damn it, Nocturne. That is the root cause of the joys of being alive. It's not a cold, but a warm kind of sorrow, shining more brightly as a result of its limits. If I think of it that way, there's no time to falter and hesitate. I need to tell you, even if my wishes are unfulfilled, I have to share my true feelings. Hold my hand, Makoto! <laughs> Makoto-san, I... I love you. Oh! Wow! Out of all these characters, I think her and I think Fuka say I love you. Right? Out of all these characters, I think she's and Fuka is like the only one that say I love you, right? Holy shit! I love you. I love you too, I guess. I know that I'm a machine. I know that I'm a machine. I know I, that I can't be touched. Lies! But I don't know why. All I can see or think about is you, Makoto-san. I love you so much that I feel I may break down somehow. Wow. You sense Aegis' strong affection. Oh, social link! I love pizza. <laughs> Mitsuru says, I like you. Close enough, right? It is definitely close, considering her standards. 
Yes, grab her by the shoulders, Makoto. No! Wow, she's the only one that runs away! And smiles. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't think of anything to say. I wonder if something really has broken inside of me. I feel so happy. We should go back. I'll go ahead. I I can't look at you now. <laughs> I love her, dude. I love Igus too much as well. All the girls in this games are great. In this game is great. Mitsuru is great. Freaking Yukari is great. Fuka is great. Yugo is great. Chihiro is definitely great. Holy shit, dude. Um. Yeah, man, I love them all. They're, they're good. Alright, let's sleep. Oh my god! Are we gonna max her out? I hope we do, dude. A girl managed to escape Makoto's iron grip. Fanai. Oh, Finit? Oh, I say Finit. It's like how people say ambience and ambiance. Please max this out. If this doesn't max out, I'm gonna be pissed. <gasps> we didn't do it, boys. No. No. And it's a Sunday. Fuck. <laughs>